Well, I wanted to do just one more video with my dad's uh, pre-war with the Kelly conversion ring and the hide head on it. Uh, I should say this has a great Ken Spy Spears or Spires, I forget what his name is, but he's on the Hangout. Uh, he made a great conversion neck at a great price. He's up in Alaska. If you need one, definitely give him a shout. Uh, some folks thought, and I appreciate the honesty, uh, that the banjo sounded a little bit maybe muddled, a little muddy, and without a whole lot of sustain with the hide head on. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, they can stretch out a little bit over time. So I wanted to see what it sounded like. It's a 32 one-piece flange. And it's, uh, as I said, it's got uh, originally an arch top, obviously. All original hardware. Uh, I've got a Grover bridge with the bone inserts that my dad always had on this. I like those with a hide head because the hide head can be a little muffled and I always kind of thought the bone inserts bring out the best on a hide head. Anyway, here it is, all tuned up and ready to go. We got some newer national picks and one of these. Let me pick a little bit of Lonesome Road Blue. So I could have a little more downward pressure on that bridge. I don't know. Maybe a little bit. Maybe that's right. Maybe it's not. I've never been good with tail or tail pieces, rather. The pressure on that tail piece. Um, I, it's, it perked up a little bit. Now. I thought maybe it was a little thick. I don't know if it is or not. It sounds maybe it's a little thick, but I had a thinner one on there. But I thought I'd give the old hide head one more try before I went to a, um, you know, a, um, a pre EPA Remo, which is my second choice. Tell me what you think.